trying to contain my excitement. I'm trying not to be too loud, but hello everyone. Today we are flying on the Hello Kitty plane. <laughs> This has been my dream for so long. Every time I fly to Taipei, I always see the Hello Kitty planes. And I always thought like, do I just have to be lucky to get on one of those planes? Like I didn't really know the secret to getting on the Hello Kitty plane. But once I looked more into it, I realized that there's a website where you can check if your flight will be a Hello Kitty flight or not. But yeah, I'm so, so excited to be here. Oh my God, I have to show you guys. They gave us Sanrio boarding passes. I'm literally obsessed, it's so cute. <laughs> I actually booked business class for this flight because this has been a dream of mine for so long. So I figured why not just go all out and do the whole business class experience. So right now I'm at the Eva Infinity Lounge and they have so much food here. Let me go show you around. Ooh, they have some French toast, some eggs. Ooh, these eggs look like soft scrambled. Look at a piece of this bacon. They got some chicken patty and vegetables, some braised cabbage and vermicelli. Ooh. I love these little Taiwanese sandwiches. I'm gonna grab one. Oh my gosh, they even have like a soybean milk thing, like a machine that's constantly mixing it. Ooh, this is such a fancy container. It's sweet potatoes? Let's see. Oh, wow. Ooh, they have dumplings. And they even have a congee station. So you can get your plain congee and add a bunch of toppings. They have a selection of breads and you can even toast them. And we have some coffee, cereal, other drinks like juice and water, as well as a salad bar and like a little kind of pastry case almost. Oh my God, I have to get one of these little mini doriyaki. Oh my God, you guys, they have this Haagen-Dazs station where you can have unlimited Haagen-Dazs. Look, there's chocolate, mango, and matcha. Of course, they have a whole case of drinks that you can get. I'm gonna get the apple juice. And they also have these coffee stations. Oh, and even like a whole bar situation. <laughs> okay, I just got my plate of goodies. I'm gonna try some of these eggs. They look so soft scrambled. Mm, not bad. It's like creamy, eggy. <laughs> Let's try this bacon. I never saw bacon like this before. Hmm, it tastes more like ham. It goes really well with the eggs though, because it's really salty. So the eggs help balance it out. I'm gonna try some of the turnip cake, AKA Wobogao. Hmm. Could be crispier, but not bad. Then we have this dumpling. I'm not quite sure what's in it. I think it's pork, but I wonder what the green wrapper is. I don't know, maybe it's just for color. Whoa, the filling is really soft. Not bad, it has a pork flavor. I think there's some water chestnuts in there too, because there's a little crunch. I also picked up one of these little sandwiches. I love picking up those um, Taiwanese sandwiches from 7-Eleven or like the convenience stores. This one is tuna and egg, I think. Mm. Mm. The bread is so soft and fluffy, like literally like a pillow cloud. And then the tuna, it's very mayo forward. Of course, I have to get some apple juice. It's my favorite kind of juice. But they also had this peach juice, which I had never seen before. So I'm very curious about it. Mmm, refreshing. Actually, not too sweet. Last but not least, we have this little mini dorayaki. Mmm, the pancake on the outside is so soft and pillowy. And then the red bean adds a nice sweetness. Mm. So I'm gonna finish up here and we're gonna go board the plane. <laughs> All right, we went to our gate, which is C4, and it wasn't Hello Kitty themed. So I looked up on Google, which gate is the Hello Kitty gate, and it says that it's C2. So we're heading there now. Oh, wow. Oh my God, how cute is that? Then right next to Hello Kitty gate, they have a Sanrio store. Oh my gosh, how cute. They have Hello Kitty themed boba kits. We have some Hello Kitty bags, Sanrio bags. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at these cute little tumblers and cups. Oh my God, these little pouches. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm so tempted to buy it. Maybe when I leave to go back to the US, I'll buy one. <laughs> We're going on. <laughs> All right, 
Here we go. Wait. Oh no. What? They said it was Hello Kitty. Wait. Oh my god. What's happening? No. I'm in like literal shock. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say other than oh my god. Wait, we literally researched this and it said it was a Hello Kitty flight. Okay, we even got the Hello Kitty boarding pass. We even asked the person like at the gate if this is a Hello Kitty flight. And he said, oh yeah, it's a Hello Kitty flight inside, but the outside plane isn't Hello Kitty. And then we just asked the flight attendant and they said it's not Hello Kitty. We literally booked this just for this too. Like we could have flown straight to Tokyo, but we specifically flo flew to Sapporo because the Hello Kitty flight only flies to Sapporo. And then now we're gonna fly to Sapporo and then we're gonna fly from Sapporo to Tokyo. And for what? For no reason. Oh my God. I'm in complete shock. Okay, I guess let's uh, tour the seat. <laughs> the non Hello Kitty seat. I mean, there's nothing else we can do. This is the leg room. Pretty nice. We have the pillow. Pretty cushy. We got some slippers. Headphone. We have a plug. We have a little light. And then of course, we can lay flat. Gonna do that later. Definitely gonna take a nap. Nap away my sorrows. <laughs> and then I believe this is the table. Here we go. Pretty good for eating. Yeah, lots of surface area. This one is actually pretty different from the business class from Taipei to San Francisco. That one has a lot more amenities. And this one's more, I think because it's a shorter flight, it's only like three hours, three and a half hours or so. So I think that's why the seats aren't as big and there's less amenities and stuff. All right, so let's take a look at the menu. We have Japanese cuisine. I assume that's because we're flying to Japan because the one from SF to Taipei didn't have a Japanese menu. And then there's a Western cuisine and a Chinese cuisine. All right, hopefully it's good. <laughs> I could use some good food to write about now. <laughs> I'm literally so sad. <laughs> and then here's the beverage menu. They have lots of different kinds of tea. This looks about the same as the business class menu for San Francisco to Taipei. I ordered some pineapple juice. My pineapple juice just came. Tastes good, but I'm still sad. It did cheer me up a little bit though. Oh my god, those slippers. Yeah. So nice. So fancy. They're like cushy and like fuzzy almost. It's like almost like velvet. Yeah, it's like looks so soft. We got off our flight, we checked into our next flight, and now we have like five hours to kill or something. So we're getting ramen. All right, our ramen just came. This is officially my first ramen in Japan of this trip. And this spot specializes in shrimp ramen, which I find very interesting. I don't think I've ever had shrimp ramen before. And they have three different options. They have shrimp miso, shrimp salt, or shrimp soy sauce, which I got the shrimp soy sauce. Look at this pork. Ooh, that looks really good. And then let's take a look at these noodles. Ooh, look at those noodles. Oh my goodness. All right, let's dig in. 
I gotta tie my hair up because I mean business. Mm. Oh, the noodles are chewy. And they can soak up the flavor of the broth. I'm gonna try the broth on its own. Oh. Oh, wow, yeah. It does have a shrimpy flavor. This is so comforting right now. All right, let's try the pork. Whoa, it's so soft. It melts in your mouth. This bowl is what, $7? 900 yen, right? Wow. The egg is perfectly cooked too. I could get used to this. You guys, look at this sign at the airport. I have another reminder. It was not a Hello Kitty happy flight. <laughs> now we're in line for ice cream. You guys, look, look what I got. I saw other people eating this ice cream and I was like, I need to try that. We are in Hokkaido. So when in Hokkaido, eat ice cream slash milk slash cheese. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Oh, whoa. It has like a different flavor. The milk tastes different. And the texture, I don't even know if I can explain it. It kind of looks like whipped cream, almost. Very creamy, but also light, but also rich. <laughs> mm, very good. Mm. From the same place, I also got a cheese tart because Hokkaido cheese is also famous. Anything dairy, I feel like, in Hokkaido, you just gotta eat it. <laughs> Whoa. It's like melty, it's gooey, cheesy, creamy. Yeah, just like the dairy here just has a different flavor. I don't know how to explain it. The airport is so nice. There's so much food in the airport and it's not like in the US where airport food is hella expensive and it's not good. It's like good food and cheap at the airport. Can you even imagine that? We also stopped by this cute donut shop. They had such cute donuts in their pictures and this display case just sold us. So we were like, we have to get it. It's so cute. So we got this one. It's like two different variety packs and it's called Sare, Sare Toko Donuts. Sare, Sare Toko Donuts? I don't know, something like that. Look how cute they are. They're freaking adorable. So we got this one and then we also got this one. Oh my God, can you believe these are donuts? They're too cute to eat. Almost, almost too cute to eat. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's soft and squishy. It's more like a cake, not really like a donut. More like a cake. All right, let's try one of the colored ones to see if it's a different flavor. Mm, mm -hmm. Strawberry. It gives like strawberry Hello Panda vibes or strawberry Pocky. Mmm, mmm, Pikachu. Not lemon. I don't think it's mango either. Yummy flavor. <laughs> now for blue. Blue doesn't have a flavor. Even though I'm super sad about the Hello Kitty flight. It's okay, we're making the best of it. We got cute donuts, we had some yummy ramen. I had the creamy ice cream and the cheese tart. You guys look, it's the Pokemon store, look at that. Oh my God, look at all these little Pikachus. They're so cute. Look at this, oh my God, adorable. Oh, we even have some Pokeballs. Oh my God, they have literally so many Pikachu. <laughs> oh my God. Eevee, oh my God, cute. Look at this huge wall of Pokemon plushies or stuffed Pokemon, I guess you would call them. Literally <laughs> so many. Other than that, the store is actually pretty small, but that wall of plushies was impressive for sure. You guys, look, they have a Calbi store here. The same brand that makes those shrimp chips and the potato sticks. What's it called, Jagabee or something? Yeah, they have a store here and they fry the potato chips fresh. Look at that. They're literally frying them fresh. And then they also have some gift boxes that you can buy. Yeah, lots of different flavors, different kinds of potatoes, <laughs> potato chips basically. Super cool, I think we're gonna get one of the, the fresh fried potato chips because when are we ever going to get to try Calbee fresh fried potato chips? I don't know. 
we got the Hokkaido butter flavor. They also have one that comes with chocolate. They also have another one that comes with soft serve ice cream. Very interesting. But we got the Hokkaido butter. Look at that. Mmm. 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 The potato chips are so good. They're crispy, crunchy, but also soft. They have like a soft crunch to them. I'm trying to think, have I had butter flavored chips before? I've had the honey butter ones, like the Korean honey butter ones, but this is different from that because it's not sweet like that one. The butter flavor is really rich at first. And then as you chew more, it gets mellowed out by the potato flavor. And some of them are still hot too. Fresh out the fryer. Mm. All right, we're headed to the lounge now. Look at this first class, so fancy. I'm not used to all this fanciness. I usually fly economy everywhere, so. We just went through security. There's a whole separate security line because we're in first class, which I've never experienced before. All right, let's go. The Diamond Premier Lounge. You guys, they have massage chair rooms. Milk and tomato juice. And then they also have all these drink machines. Coffee, tea, soda. No way. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Amazing. Umami focaccia, bacon and cheese. Yes, please. Okay, I'm being really quiet while I taste this food. It's cold, so it makes it not as good. Focaccia bread. Also cold. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. Pumpkin mochi. Mm. This is like a mix between a bread and a mochi. Because it's not like hella stretchy like mochi, but it's not quite like bread because it's a bit chewy like mochi. The pumpkin filling reminds me of like red bean tuna onigiri. Okay, this is the best thing that I tried. Tuna has a nice flavor and then there's also horseradish flavor, which I wasn't sure how it would feel about, but not bad. Pretty good actually. collection of slippers after this trip. <laughs> There's a little hook for your jacket. <laughs> vlog we made it to tokyo finally it was a long day of traveling we woke up at 5 a.m left the airbnb at 6 got to the airport at 6 30 checked in did all that stuff then there was the whole fiasco with the hello kitty plane still honestly in disbelief that it happened and then we hung out at the sapporo airport for like four or five hours 
and then we flew from Sapporo to Tokyo then we landed at like 9 30 and at that point we had been traveling all day and so we just ended up calling an uber ubers are not the cheapest or like uber slash taxis are not very cheap in japan so usually i'm reluctant but at that point we were both just like the thought of lugging our luggages around on the subway and taking an hour and a half to get to our hotel i was like let's just call the uber let's pay for the uber but anyway i just checked into my hotel and we also stopped by a nearby market so i could buy some water and stuff but the hotel i'm staring at it's kind of like a budget hotel the room is pretty small but it was really cheap it's only like i think like 40 dollars a night 40 us dollars a night so very very cheap but i'll give you a quick tour so this is the entrance it's very like small and cramped. There's like an extra sink there as well. Not quite sure what it's for, but here is the bathroom, which is also quite small. It kind of reminds me of like a cruise ship bathroom actually. But yeah, we got the sink, toilet, shower, pretty small, got a mirror. And then coming this way, you have some places to hang your stuff. And then this is the main part of the room. And this is the bed. There's a little desk, a TV, we got a window. We have a little bit of a view. I'm only on the third floor, so I'm not that high up, but not bad. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, about what you can expect for, you know, a $40 a night hotel. All right, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm so tired. I'm gonna just shower and go to sleep because tomorrow we gotta get up early and eat around Tokyo. So yeah, if you made it this far, comment below, sad Hello Kitty flight with a sad face emoji. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!